My name is Dominic Tabazuin. I started working at Beth Israel Hospital in my junior year of high school. After the internship, I began to work for food and nutrition, and then I started the CLS Clinical Lab Science Program here at Beth Israel. Hi, how are you doing today? Right now, I am halfway through my practicum of the Clinical Lab Science Program. Dom, can you run these for me? Sure, no problem. As hospitals and in healthcare, we have a bit of a challenge in that a lot of our professionals who work with patients need to have a specific certification. And we often find that there aren't enough people certified to fill these roles that we need. This was the case in our pathology lab. Hi, how you doing? Sure. So we knew we had this need, and we applied to the Workforce Competitiveness Trust Fund, a new fund available through the state of Massachusetts. And they were offering three years of funding to do an innovative training program. And we asked that we could use the funds to create this new program to train our employees into this role we very desperately needed. You know what to do. This program made it really, really easy for me to go to college because it took care of all the financial aspects of it. They even supplied us our books, calculators, etc. The program started with a lot of science and math courses. The Clinical Laboratory Sciences is an associate degree program, very rigorous in the sciences. Students take many courses in biology and anatomy and physiology and chemistry and, and then many courses in Clinical Laboratory Sciences itself. And then, in the last semester of the program, they do a 20-week full-time internship in the hospital where they work. We were so excited to get out there and start applying these theories and actually get to see how the techs do these blood testing and urine testing here at the lab. I personally prefer working with the Advia, where we get a chance to do um, differentials on the patients, actually smear, stain their blood, and look at it under the scope. The work the machine can do a lot of neutrophils and lymphocytes, very few monocytes, but otherwise normal. Before I came into this program, I had no idea what the different cells was in our body, but now I can pretty much name them, identify them, and classify them. It's very rewarding to know that I'm able to perform all these tests for the patients, whether it's set rates or doing diffs or bone marrow bench. It's very rewarding. In May, our folks will graduate We'll finish up the lab practicum and they'll be done with the program. At that point, they need to take the certification exam and when they've taken the exam and passed it, they're then eligible to become medical lab technicians and we'll hire them into that role in the hospital. And they'll all get a salary increase and have a new job. I feel confident that I'm gonna be successful here in the lab. I see how the workflow is and I, it's something that is definitely fits me and I like it. I love coming into work and I can't wait to go back to school and become a technologist and continue to work for this hospital.